Hello everyone, it's Nancy Bastien and what we are doing, what I am doing today is I'm going to make some inchies and so I have this paper and I don't know if I can all this paper that I did um, I just want to make inchies out of it because it's already painted and I hate to paint those little bitty inchy things so I decided I'd use my already painted papers and we would do those instead so I wouldn't have to keep painting them so I didn't cut that straight of course so I'm going to try to straighten it out as best I can and get some inches out of this little piece of paper here so I can put some in with my ATCs yep so let's see I don't want to make many, but I do want to make a few. One or two or three or four. I have my little stamps out. So I'm going to just cut these out and I'll be back when they're all finished. Okay, I'm back and I have cut my inches and I also cut some twinchies and I've got some stamps out here to put some backgrounds on. And I also got my inchy stamps here and I got some uh, these embellishments and I want some rhinestones and I think I'm going to have to go, um, maybe I can use these, these nail ones, looks like a good idea. I also have my dew drops, I can maybe put on them. I have some sequins here, those are big sequins, do I have any smaller ones? Well, these got the same, I guess. And I have some tape, some metallic tape I could use on them. So let's get started. I have to have my little pen to get the rhinestones out. I hope it still works. So, I got something stuck in the bottom of my, it's a heart, or a star. Alright, let's get started here with some, put some backgrounds on these a little bit. A little bit of background stuff. I have some ink and I'm not sure what I want to put on what but we're gonna just keep trying a little bit of everything this is a little bit of duty dots or round dots just like that I'm going to cut that edge off. I don't like that edge on there. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to cut it off just like that. Throw it in the garbage. Um, my mother in law's in the hospital with blood clots in both of her legs. Yesterday, she 
couldn't uh, feel anything from her knees down. Her legs went numb. They got her to the hospital and they found no pulse below her knee. Scary, huh? Really scary. So I think on these bigger ones, I want to run a little bit of this this stamp on them. Just like that. So today they had to transport her to a different hospital because they put her on a drip of heparin to see if that would uh, release the clots. Then they transported her to a different um, hospital because they, if they needed to go in and break them up uh, they, that hospital was set up to do it, and it seemed like it was quite a an emergency. Um, they they moved her last night, quite late in the night, because if they needed to go in there in the middle of the night, they were the doctor was already there, and the the thing was already set up to do it. However, they go in there artery and you're growing and they go down with a thing and release those so far they haven't done any of that yet today she's they're doing a echocardiogram on her I don't know why but they are they're doing an echo on her today and we haven't heard anything so I may have to quit this and go if I have to rush to the hospital. Oh, this one didn't get one. That's okay. I'll put something else on this one. How about if I put this background on it? Just a little bit of this. Yeah. That works. I like that. Maybe I'll do it on all of them. I like it. It's a uh, Andy Skinner, one of his new stamps. Let me pull you in. I'll get you a little closer here. Then I have to move them up a little bit because, or they, I will be off camera. There. So this is a nice little background. little lines on it. I like that. I'm not too fond about doing these inches. They're they're fiddly to me. I don't like that's why I wanted some um, already painted papers because I did not want to sit here and paint papers. That's just too fiddly. Too fiddly fiddly. Okay. All right. I think that's probably about enough backgrounds on them. Now to put a focal point on them. I'm going to put these down in there. Put them away down in their box down there. And... I have this heart. I thought I could put that on one. And I got out my blocks. They are right here. 
if it'll stick to the block. It's not going to stick to the block. You don't want to. There we go. That's cool. That's cute. Now, let's see. What do I want on this one? Maybe I don't want such black ink. I have these other inks over here. I was going to put this on part of it. I'm not sure how that will look. Well, we're going to try. These are more like a chalk ink. I should have this piece of paper underneath so I don't have to keep wiping off the thingy. The thingy, my bobby. I can't see what it's going to do. I can't see what it's going to look like, but hopefully. Oh, yeah. That looks good. I like that. See? See if my autofocus is on. Yes. You see that? Okay. And this one. Alrighty. Let's see what other stamp do I have. Put on these bigger ones. Hmm. Well, I have some of these drops. I'm going to use those. These raindrops keep falling on my head. nice. Cool, huh? I like it. We got the other part of the bottom half that's inked and I'm going to put it on this one. Yep, just like that. Alrighty. Let's see. We have two more. I have this little, I don't know what it is. It's a weed of some sort. Let's see. I'm going to do it in green. Oh, that did show up, darn it. 
see. Didn't show up, but it's good enough. By the time I get gems and stuff on it, it'll be fine. Well, let's do it again on this one and use a different color. I wonder what sable would look like. Let's try it. Probably won't show up again. I gotta scoot my chair up so I can be in the shop. See what happens. Well, it showed up some, not a whole lot. Okie dokie. All right, we got those done. Now let's see what we have. I'm going to move these out of the way them down here in my little thing. I have these little inchy stamps. And some are round and some some are square and I got out what happened to my little face. I found my little round face. Oh here it is. And I thought I could put her on one to see what happens. All of her won't fit on one, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to do it in black. I also have Peachy Keen faces. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty dang cool. See her on there? Now I'm going to go and get my peachy king as I just thought of them and they're not very far away so I'll be right I found them really fast. I have all different sizes. I have these. These are kind of cute. Those are too big and I have a few of these little ones down here. So I'm going to try a few of these because I think they're cute. Let's see. Move this out because that's distracting. Hmm. Let's put this on one because it's like wow. Open. She looks mad. Well, can't see too much of it because of the background. So I think I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use that other little girl. She shows up more. Because these don't have an out, outline around their face. They would be better on a circular. And I might punch out some circles and not do so many background uh, on them. 
So I'm going to put her on just a couple more. And she didn't look cute. One more time. Should also look cute on round. I think this is a Dina. Let me look. They are. Diane Reevely's face stamps is what they are. That's what this one came off of. Diane Reevely. All right, I'll put that one over there. Now let's see, we're going to use some of these. Hmm. These are more like background. I'm going to use this eye. I like this eyes. These eyes are looking at you. This is another Diane Reevely. And they've lost their sticky They don't want to stick to a block. Cute. Hmm, I don't know what to do about these other stamps. These are like stamp stamps. Booze Cruise. Social Network. Text Message. That would be a cute one. Make sure it's on there right. I'll stamp it on the paper first. Yeah, that that'll work. See, I don't like to do these little fiddly things. Well, that's kind of cute. We wouldn't have needed a background, though. Could have just done that on a plain piece of paper. Let's see. This one says road trip. This one says LOL. Cool, that one. I like that one. Let's do that one on another one.
They look like postage stamps. I like that. Two more. This one says Space Cadet. I don't know. Social media. I gotta stamp that one off on. Yeah, I can see it. Probably do this on two of them. That one kind of got screwed up. But I'm going to use it anyway. Alright, we're done stamping on them. We can put this away. out of the way. Okay. Let's put these away where I can find them again. Another baby wipe out. And let's stop decorating these little thingies. So I can get my stuff in the mail. Yes, I need to get my ATCs in the mail. I also have these little wooden shapes. Then I think I might put on a couple of these. Move this. Move this. Wipe this off a little bit. And see what we have here. You know what? I don't think I'm going to put much on these little stamps. Maybe a little gem or something. And I don't know where my Tim Holtz words are. Okay, let's do these first. Let's see. Let's put a little bit of maybe, maybe some tape. This fiddly stuff. This fiddly stuff that you can't find the end of. Oh, come on. Shannon Green turned me on to this stuff. Because she's such an enabler. But she's a fun enabler. And I don't know where the end is. It's going to take me an hour to find it. Oh, let's try another one. Let's 
why I've never used them much. I like can never find the ends of them. They are fun to use if you can... Yeah. Why don't they put a piece of something different on them? Oh my goodness. I'll be right back. I'm not going to have you sit here and wait for me to find the ends. I'll be right back. Well, I found the ends. Hallelujah. I'm just going to put it on here. Like that. I'll pull you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. That's as far as I can go. I hope that doesn't make it blurry. But I'm just going to go around my whole little inchy here. With this fiddly little tape. Oh my goodness, this is fiddly. You have to have lots of patience. Phone's ringing. I bet you that's for my from my mother-in-law. Nobody's answering it. I'm not going to do this on all of them because it's too dang fiddly. Okay. Got it on one. And I'll cut the ends off, but see, it's really pretty on there. And I think I'm going to put a little something something. These are nail art. spill all these. And that's why you have this little thing in here that you stick in here and you grab one and you need a little glue this right here in her hair come on glue now 
Halloween's tacky glue. It's too thick. It don't want to come out. There it is. I got too big of a blob. Yeah, stick that gem right there. And we are going to call that Inchy done. See that? Okay. That one's finished for the time being. Let's see. There's a gem sticking on that one. What? The procedure. To do our legs? Huh? To take the blood clots out of her legs? Alright. Do we need to go? I guess not. Okay. Thanks, honey. Okay, I'm going to dress these up with some, let's see, sequins, or maybe, nah, let's do some sequins. These are dollar store sequins. I've never used them before because I usually don't do bling bling. And I don't know what how to cut this open. I guess just Cut a little thing open and hope, hopefully, that did it. Oh, I am having such a difficult time. Let me get my pokey tool. You see, I just don't do these fiddly things. They drive me nuts. I think she needs a different color than that one. Try this one. Alrighty, I think this is the color. That's the color I'm going to use anyway. For these little things. I need my tweezers. Dropping stuff. Hang on, let me find my tweezers. They're right here.
And then I can't use my tweezers with them because I don't know how. Oh my goodness. What a pain in the arse. Okay. Am I on screen? No. Is there a certain way these go on? I don't know. I'm just putting them on however I can. All right. Trying to keep these as flat as I can to mail. Is there a right side and a wrong side to a sequin? Or just the side that glues down the best? Because these are kind of beveled, they're not flat. This one needs something, something, something. They need a word. Like I believe in magic so I can get these things on here. I can get Aline's tacky glue out of this thing. Alright, let's put some other gems on here too. They just need a little, little more something, something. some little flowers come on they said you would work They lied. They lied to me. And want these purple flowers. One, two, three, four. Let's close this so it doesn't spill out because I'm so clumsy. I can make it spill out in no time. Pushing this forward, I'm going to pull my camera out a little bit. 
There we go. Now you can see better. So, let's see. I'm going to put a flower over here. In this corner. Okay. These are cutter bees. I think that's what they are. I can't read. Yeah, they're cutter bees. And you have to pinch them and hold them. They're not like regular tweezers. But they're kind of cool. if you can get them to work okay one more This is going to be a little bit of a long video. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm not going to do anything on these just yet. I, I don't know what I want to do on these. So, let's go to the bigger ones. And I would like to... Put some of this tape around them if I can find the ends. That's a blue metallic, that's a gold metallic, this is a silver. I like this pink one. also a oh I like this one too okay see if I can find the end real quick if not I'm gonna scream There it is. Yay for me.
This is really cool stuff. And I'm going to um, UT all of these. So all of this stuff will stick on. This is nail art tape. I do want to put a couple of these dew drops on here. Just because I don't know, should I color them? I'm going to put them over here. Just like that. I saw a girl on YouTube coloring these with her um alcohol inks. But I think I just want them clear for right now. I'm going to do a bunch of them. I am going to make some different colored ones. You uh, drop your alcohol ink in a little bag and then drop these dew drops in and um, roll them around in the bag and then they're colored. Alright, that one's finished. Cool, huh? I want to do the rest of them with this tape. Okay, let me find it. And when you put the UT on, oh, these get so beautiful. For you so don't know what UT is, it's extra thick embossing powder. You also can put triple, triple, um, I think it's called triple gloss enamel stuff. I have done that too, but I like the UT because it, you don't have to wait for it to dry. I put that on my paper beads also. Okay. 
okay. It's not quite out to the edge, but it'll be okay. I think I'm going to put sequins on this one. Hmm. Maybe these green ones? Too many, Nancy. I just wanted. Three. And I cut that too far down. Cut them right here. One. Two and three. Are you guys with me? Are you still with me here? I hope so. Okay, I have a question. Do any of you guys have a Wi-Fi wireless printer? I have a Wi-Fi wireless printer and I installed it for but then we had trouble with our internet. So we changed our name and our password to our Wi-Fi, but the printer is not picking it up. So, do you think I have to uninstall it and reinstall it again for it to pick up the new um, the new Wi-Fi? My husband's choking on something. On the new Wi-Fi um, name and password because I can't find where I can just go in to the settings on the uh, printer on my computer and change it anywhere so if anybody knows please leave me a comment and let me know I'm getting really frustrated because I want to copy stuff and I can't. Alright, I'm going to try this iridescent blue stuff on here. And I can get it out. I'm telling you, I got better fingers today. I'm a little shaky. There's the end. They had a, a mark on that one. not getting this quite to the end quite to the it's okay I'm not getting it quite to the bottom in some places but I'm okay with that quite to the edge is what I meant I do like edging these with this. It's pretty pretty. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Thank you, Shannon, for 
showing us this kind of tape. Let's see, what do I want to do on these? I want to put a... These are just wooden and they're not painted or anything. But they're really cute and I could put that little birdie right there. But he needs to be painted. Let's see, I need a bigger birdie. Like that. Oh, he don't need to be painted. He can just go on there and just be a bird. Well, I'm not going to take time to paint him. I bought these years ago and never used them. I have never used them. They were stuck away and I couldn't, hadn't found them for quite some time and let's see how you like that. I'm stuck. See the little birdie? He might get painted. Before I'm done, he might get painted. Okay, let's see what I'm going to do on that one. I do want to put some... tape on it. This is the pink one that I keep using. I got quiet, huh? This is concentrating job. So fiddly. As Amy would say, it is fiddly. Oops. She makes really pretty fiddly stuff, though, and really pretty uh, storage things out of boxes. My brain just does not work that way. It barely works this way. I'm not talking about. Okay, what do I want to put on this one? Two drops. Or how about these? Got these little things. dump a bunch of them out.
to see which one I want to use. I like that color. That'll work. These almost look like dewdrops. That color almost looks like a dewdrop. Let's see. I go to pick up one and It's not the right color. I'm just picking colors out here to see what looks good on this one. Well, that went flying. I think these little candy striped ones would look cute on here. I do think. Just like that. Goodness, goodness. Takes more time to pick these up. <laughs> oh, this tacky glue is so thick. Alright guys, I think after I get this one done, I'm going to go and, oh my goodness, where did that go? And, uh, so this doesn't get so long. And I'll finish these up. And then I will show you what they look like. Well, I'll come back and we'll UT them together. Because that's kind of fun to watch. Okay, there's that one. That's kind of cute. And I'll do these last two and then I'll be back. 